Okay, I gotta go in. Uh, happy Sunday. Who are you? Drop the gas, you two? No, no puedo hablar en este momento. Just make sure the package lands when it's supposed to, okay? You leave here, bud? Yep. This is it. I didn't realize that. I don't usually let Mateo hang out with people that live around here. Dad. It has nothing to do with you, Juan. Mateo knows that. My father taught me never to trust people that aren't family. But you seem like a good kid, so I'll make an exception for you. Thanks, Mr. Perez. Later, Mateo. Let's get out of here. Are you Juan Guerrero? Yes. Let's go, son. I'm Chief Roderick, and this is Agent Morris. And what do you want with my son? This man? Mr. Perez? Yeah, he just dropped me off. Did he do something? We have reason to believe that Carlos Perez is involved in running a major underground drug operation. Oh my God. Luxury exemplified. Innovation electrified. With this is this called Lopa. It's an extremely addictive drug that's been taking over the streets. Now, it's been killing an awful lot of people, especially kids. And you think Mr. Perez is the person selling it? We do, and that's why we need your help. What I'm about to propose to you might sound a bit shocking. We need Juan to go undercover. What? No, he's just a child. Miss Guerrero, we're running out of options, and we're running out of time. Carlos Perez is an ex extremely private person. All of his close associates are, are his family members, who we believe are also members of his organization. Now, what we need is a neutral party, somebody he'd never expect. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna put him in any danger. I still can't believe Mr. Perez is a drug dealer. He, he's so nice. Juan, criminals are overly nice. But I want you to think about something. Carlos Perez drives a Rolls Royce. He lives in a huge mansion, both of which he's purchased over the past 12 months. Who do you know who works at a liquor store can afford such a thing? Ms. Guerrero, I understand your hesitation, but may I add that there is a $1 million reward to whoever can nail this guy, officially approved by the governor herself. <laughs> You're not gonna convince me to risk the life of my son for money. I don't care how much it is. I've seen the movies. I know how it goes when you're an informant for the cops. We get it. Here's my number. Please give me a call if you change your mind, okay? You'd be saving a lot of lives, Juan. And you'd help us put a very bad man behind bars. 
and we would truly appreciate your help. Okay, so don't spend it all. We still need bus fare home, okay? And it's gonna rain, and I don't want to walk. Okay, I'm. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> Hola, Annalise. Everything okay? Sí, perdóname. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just a mess right now. I just talked to Hector from church, and his son is on life support. What? What happened? He, he got into some drugs, and he overdosed on something called, I don't remember, lollipop? Blowpop? Sí. So Hector said that all the kids are taking this. It's even in the schools now. You got to take care of Juan, Ana. Juanito. He would never. I mean, that's what I thought that too. And now look what happened. Just be careful, okay? I don't know who these monsters are that are selling these drugs, but we need to get them off the streets. Yeah. Before they take more of our kids. Yeah, yeah. Take care of yourself, okay? Okay, bye. Bye. Juan. Amma, I saw this really cool shirt, but it, it's $6. Can I still buy it? No, I'm sorry, baby. That's okay. I'll go find something else. <laughs> if you are scared... It's not it's that. It's just... I still don't think Mr. Pettis is a bad guy. This is Carlos Perez's criminal record. As you can see, he has a drug possession charge from back when he was 17. Wow, we didn't know that. These people are very good at hiding their past. One thing I've discovered in all my years of doing this is that you just can't trust everybody. Sometimes, even a wolf can be disguised in sheep's clothing. What exactly does Juan need to do? I mean, I don't want to put him in any danger. Oh, he'll be completely safe, I promise. This is what they call a covert listening device. Some people call it a bug. You would need to place this in Mr. Perez's office or any place where he conducts business. You think you can do that for us, son? I guess so. Great. Our informants on the street say there's been a lot of talk about this big shipment coming this week. We just need location and time, and this bug is gonna help us to get that. All right. I mean, I am supposed to go to Mateo's house tomorrow, so... Perfect. You may not know this yet, Juan, but you're truly a hero for doing this. And if you can actually pull it off, that million-dollar reward's gonna help you and your mom a lot. So we'll see you tomorrow at 0800 to brief you and give you all the details. Oh, I almost forgot. Keep this with you at all times. This is a tracking device. This will let us know where you are. Okay? Okay. We'll see you tomorrow. You think you can do this, mijo? I don't want you to do anything you don't want to. If it's gonna help people, then I don't mind. And besides, we really need the money. No, you don't have to worry about that. I have you, and that's all it matters. Just be careful. Because if something was to happen to you... I wouldn't be good. <laughs> Wanna play PS5? Uh, actually, can we play something else? Uh, how about, uh, hide and seek? What are we, six? Come on, it'll be fun. Besides, your house has, like, the best hiding spots ever. Fine, I'll count to ten. Excellent. No! A uh, hundred, please. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I know this brothers is really taking off. Yeah. The shipment's coming in tonight? Yeah, midnight at the warehouse in Santa Ana. Looks like everything's going to plan. Let's hope this product's as sweet as the last. That last shipment, it's all like in three days. The streets love it. Try to find your yet. Did you hear that? <laughs> that means that drop is going down tonight. Okay, I need you to contact the SWAT guys. 
And I need you to get a hold of the kid and tell him he needs to somehow find a way down to that drop point. The kid? We can't see him do a drug deal. It's too risky. Plus, we need to get clearance from the chief on that, Morris. No, no, no. We don't have time for that. This is about to go down now. Our best chance of busting Perez is that kid. And he's got the tracker. And we need to be able to track these guys just in case they make a, a last-minute change. Okay. Texting him right now. take this call and then I'm gonna head back to the office but we'll meet up again at 2200 hours you two stay on surveillance until then and uh cheer up fellas you're about to take down the kingpin tonight I mean that's a copy that Taylor's holiday, holiday calendar, calendar from Vista Print. For eight years, Lucy has ruled every gorgeous full bleed page of it. Were you just in my office? I, uh. There you are, Juan. Sorry, Dad. We're playing hide and seek. I forgot to tell Juan this was off limits. Right. No worries, though. I just stepped in for a minute, but good to know. Hmm. Scaling, we should get you home, Juan. Uh, actually, my mom just texted me and she said she has to work late, so do you think I could stay? Stay here. I don't let anybody say that's not family. My father Miguel made that policy and I haven't broken it. Please, Dad, I never get to have my friends stay over. I'm sorry, Mateo, but the answer hey. is gonna be... Shipment's early. We gotta go. You can stay. Please, Dad, I never get to have my friends stay over. I'm sorry, Mateo, but the answer hey. is gonna be... Shipment's early. We gotta go. You can stay. But you boys have to get to bed. No more roaming around. Yes. You can sleep on the floor in my room if you want. Uh, actually, I think I was just gonna sleep in the living room, but that's cool. Okay. Should we take Dad's Rolls Royce instead? Let's move the bags to the other car. Right. You know what? Never mind. I don't like taking it to that side of town at night. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Coming together, Carlos. Yeah, it is. Miguel would be so proud of what you've done. To bring us all together and expand the store that he left for you? That's huge. Gracias, hermanos. I just wish he was here to see it. Think about him all the time. Well, that new shipment of wine you're making in his honor is going to keep his legacy alive. Yeah, it is. Thanks for now. Let's go meet him. Intact. Half of these are tequila, the other half's wine. Thanks. Let's have a look. Ah, uh, yeah. This is perfect. He would have loved this. He'd be proud. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, what's going on? Save it, Perez. You know why we're here. No, I, I, I honestly, I have no idea. Make it easy on yourself. And stop lying. We know all about the blow pop drug trade. Makes sense considering your past criminal history. Are you kidding me? There's no drugs here. Yes, I had a crazy life when I was a teen, but I've cleaned up since then. If you look in these boxes, all you'll find is wine and tequila. Can it? You're not fooling anybody. It's true. Juan, what are you doing here? I'm sorry. I'll explain later. Mr. Perez is telling the truth. Miguel Martinez, his dad, passed away and left him the liquor store. He doesn't just work there. He owns it. These boxes have wine they're making in his honor. Doesn't make any sense. You drive a Rolls Royce. You live in a mansion. Nobody can afford that who owns a liquor store. That's what you think of me? That I just own a liquor store? Can we put our hands down so I can explain? <sighs> yeah, go ahead. Juan's right. I did inherit the store from my father who passed away last year. But I also teamed up with my brothers to start our own brand of tequila. Sam owns the Agave Farms in Mexico, and Pedro has the factories here. And that's why we named it the Hernandez Brothers Tequila. Check out some of these boxes. There's nothing but wine in these boxes, sir. Nothing but tequila in this one. All right, all right. See? I told you. This just doesn't make any sense. It's got to be here. Boys, keep going through these boxes. Keep searching. Search for the ones in the back. Keep looking. What you have to say about this? Whoa. Hey, man. I don't know how that got there, man. That's not one of my boxes. We know. These men have been playing you. Why don't you head on home? For the rest of you, put your hands behind your backs. That's a nice trick you pulled, using a liquor store as a front to hide your drug import trade. Arrest them. No, 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 dude. You're making a terrible mistake. Those aren't our boxes. Why do people always say the same thing? You're going down. Thanks to the undercover work of Juan, you're going to be locked away for a long, long time. You went undercover, Juan? Get him out of here. I still can't believe he really did it. I trusted him. I know, Juan. It's like I said, you can't trust just everybody. But I want to thank you for everything you've done. You were great. Sure. Here's a tracker. The bug's still in the office. All right. Well, well, well. Looks like I missed all the action. Well, hey, Chief. I told you we'd do it. Good job. Do you mind taking Juan home for me? Sure. I have to stop by the lab with the evidence. And uh, also, the rest of the guys will be here later on to clear this out. Okay. Thank Problem. you, sir. See you then. How are you holding up, son? I'm a little shaken up, but... I'll be all right. Of course, I can imagine. But you can rest easy knowing that a lot of people's lives are going to be safe because of you. Why don't I take you home so I can tell your mom how much of a hero you are? I'm sure she's so worried by now. What do you think? Yeah. Look at that. Maurice forgot he is gone. Let me give him a call. How are we looking? Good. We could touch a million by the end of the month. I like to hear that. We're definitely going to make a million, especially now that Carlos Perez and his family are going to take the fall for us. <laughs> oh, how's this? Luxury exemplified. Innovation electrified. With Apple Music. That's the chief. He's blowing up my phone. You can take it. No, no, I need to buy some time before I head to the lab. Listen, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to open that up and pour half of that into our pile. And I'll take the other half to the lab. Don't you need all that for evidence against Perez? <laughs> Trust me, half of that's enough to put Perez and his whole family behind bars for years to come. Besides, I'd like to keep the profit for ourselves. Is that so? 
Chief, what, what are you doing here? I was just about to call you. Save it, Maurice. I heard, I heard everything. everything. Look, I, I, I know it looks bad, bad, but I can explain, explain it. it. What? what? Looking for this? That's why I was calling you. You forget your gun. Luckily, one had the bright idea of using the tracking app to find you. I was a little surprised to see that you were not at the lab. You are something else, Morris. Arrest him. No, wait, please. I'm DEA. Where's DEA? <laughs> Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. Get him no, out of no, here listen now. Listen to me. I was just about to arrest this perp when you showed up. Chief, listen to me. I... Just get out of here. We're really sorry about the messed up, Mr. Carlos. We had no idea this was going on. It's all right. So I'm just happy that my name's in the clear. Absolutely. And I'm so sorry about going undercover, too. Probably never let me see Mateo again. Oh, please, don't blame Juan. It was our idea. We made him do it because Morris had us convinced that he was the drug dealer. I understand. It just goes to show what a good kid Juan is. And in the end, you helped tank down the bad guys, making the streets a little safer for even my own son. So you're welcome to come see him anytime you want. <laughs> really? <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Perez. But you know, H. Morris was right about one thing. You can't trust everybody. Sometimes, even a wolf can be disguised in sheep's clothing. Oh, wait! You may want to check your office. There's a bug in there. Sorry about that. <laughs> I was so worried about you. I'm so glad that you're okay, sweetheart. Gracias, Ama. What do you mean? You're still getting it. If it weren't for you, we would have never found out the truth. In fact, I spoke to the governor today, and he wants to meet you in person tomorrow to give you the million dollars. What a way! <laughs> <laughs> Does oh that God. mean I can get the $6 shirt? Of course you can, mijo. Of course you can. <laughs> and the new iPhone 14? <clears throat> well, now you're pushing. <laughs> Yo, is that Ricky? What's up, Nate the Great? Man. So he's pulling up in the Porsche now? Is, it, is this you? Yep. Hey, if you want to get in on this, hit my phone. Are you jealous? Because I told you I can put you on. You unbelievable. Did you take care of the drop like gas you too?
este momento. Just make sure the package lands when it's supposed to, okay? You live here, bud? Yep. This is it. I didn't realize that. I don't usually let Mateo hang out with people that live around here. Dad. It has nothing to do with you, Juan. Mateo knows that. My father taught me never to trust people that aren't family. But you seem like a good kid, so I'll make an exception for you. Thanks, Mr. Perez. Later, Mateo. Yeah, this is Agent Morris. And what do you want with my son? Do you know this man? M Mr. Perez? Yeah, he just dropped me off. Did he do something? We have reason to believe that Carlos Perez is involved in running a major underground drug operation. Oh, my God. This is called blow pop. It's an extremely addictive drug that's been taking over the streets. Now, it's been killing an awful lot of people, especially kids. And you think Mr. Perez is the person selling it? We do, and that's why we need your help. What I'm about to propose to you might sound a bit shocking. We need Juan to go undercover. What? No, he's just a child. Miss Guerrero, we're running out of options. out of time. Carlos Perez is an extremely private talk about this big is that a uh, hundred please but it, it's six dollars 
Can I still buy it? No, I'm sorry, baby. That's okay. I'll go we'll find something else. find something else.